Hi, I'm Jennifer Sir, owner of The Sewing Room in Alameda, California. And today I'm gonna to do a little Monday mending. So I have this jacket, which I worked on last week and for many weeks before for different things. So it's actually a coat, it's a wool coat, and it's fully lined as you can see here. And the lining is um, free flowing here at the bottom. So um, we don't want it to ride up or come away from the outside. So what one of the common things that people that manufacturers do is do these little thread chains that attach the lining to the um, outside. So it kind of stays better in place but still is able to move with the garment. So this coat is now missing one, two, three thread chains and I thought today I would show you how to make a thread chain because that's my Monday mending. I need to get it done so I can wear my coat. Okay, so to begin, I'm doing it today with, um, with a single layer of embroidery floss. I've got it knotted on one end and I have a good sharp needle that has a big enough eye that I can put the embroidery floss through. So I'm gonna go out of the screen a little bit so you can maybe see a little bit better what I'm up to. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna start by, um, I'm gonna clip off the old thread chain that's coming undone. And I'm going to secure my thread strand underneath and through all the layers. So the knot is really secure underneath. And then basically what we're doing is a thread chain that is like finger crochet. Oh, so here, I think I need to move back a little bit. But here we go, finger crochet. So I'm taking a loop with my fingers here like this, or like this, I'm making a loop. And then I am, I'm switching my fingers here. So the loop crosses behind. And then what I'm doing is I'm catching the thread with my other finger and bringing it through that loop. And what we want to do at this point is make sure that you get it, the first knot needs to be really secured where the thread is coming out. And I'm seeing mine is not quite as far down as I want it to be. So I'm going to try to push that knot just a little bit further down so it's closer to the fabric. That makes it really strong. And then now that it's close to the fabric, I am going to continue my thread chain. So that knot kind of wants to move a little bit, so you have to get it really secure. <laughs> there we go. Um, I'm going to pull my thread, then I take, so through here, I take, I loop my finger around the other thread and make another loop and then bring that knot right down to there. So it's just continuing to do that. It's as if you had a crochet hook, but your fingers are operating like the crochet hook. And we're just continuing. So we open the loop, we pull the thread through, making another loop, open the loop, pull the thread through to make another loop. And we just continue until this thread chain is long enough. And if I look at the other thread chains, they're about three to four inches long. So that really does allow the coat to move pretty freely. So I just keep going until it's kind of a bit of a, you know, you have to manage your, your strand. That's only about two inches right now. So we still want to get it a little farther. And as I get close to the end, I get close to my three or four inch mark, I'm going to compare it with, with one of the stationary loops. Here we go. Keep going, keep going. And the more evenly you do it, the better it'll look, but it will be on the inside of your coat and really you're the only person who's gonna see it. This is also a technique you can use when you're sewing your own clothes, not just for mending but the red loops can make fantastic belt loops on, on dresses, and they can do the same function on 
a coat that you have made yourself. So my thread loop is actually a little longer, but I'm kind of okay with that. I could, I could undo, undo it a little bit, but I don't want to completely lose my loop. So I'm going to stick my needle in there to make sure I have a loop. And to finish it off, I'm going to take my needle and put it through the loop. And then I'm going to pull it tight. So it's it's now, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to come undone. It's just fine. I'm going to find the portion of my lining that I'm going to attach it to. And I'm going to attach it by taking a stitch through the lining on the outside and pulling it close to the lining. Then I'm going to go through the end, through the end of the chain and take a stitch and then one more one more thread through to tie it off and then I'll bury my stitch underneath just like this and then I'll cut my thread. So one down and two more to go. I hope you have a great day.